We are going to be talking about getting to know Blackboard Ultra. In this tutorial, we'll be covering the various menus in your Ultra course. The first thing we're going to look at is the navigation panel. This is located on the upper left hand side of your course. It's right here and you will see several tabs. The first tab is the content. So you can be anywhere in your course and then always click on this content button and it'll bring you right back to this page. Next, you have calendar, then discussions, then gradebook, then messages, finally analytics. The next menu we're gonna look at is your details and actions menu. This is located on the left-hand side um, of your course towards the bottom. And this menu is not customizable. So Blackboard automatically has these features set and you cannot edit them. So the first thing is um, the roster. So you can click on this and you can view everyone in your course. The second one is course groups. If you have groups in your course, you can click on here and you can set your groups and also view them. Third is the course image. If you wanna have a course image um, display across the top, then you will be able to add that here. Next is it says course is open. You can click that and it can make the course available or unavailable to the students. However, we don't recommend you use this feature. You let your instructional designer um, close the course if you need to. Next, we have Blackboard Collaborate. So if your course has asynchronous sessions or you choose to meet with students um, for maybe a group session or something like that, you can click here on this Blackboard Collaborate. Next, you have attendance. If you like to mark attendance, this is a very easy feature to use in Blackboard Ultra. Next is announcements. Next, then you have books and tools. Here you can access the Ally report um, for accessibility as well as other course tools. Then you have question banks. So if you have question banks in your course, you will click here and be able to manage those. And lastly, if you wanna add a course schedule, you can add it here. Um, or you just push skip and it will delete that option. The last thing I want to talk about is the three dot menu over the content area. So in the middle of your course here, you have your content area and then you click the three dots here. We call this a three dot menu. And then in this area, you can batch edit. So if you have items that you want to batch delete or batch change the due date on, you can do that there. Then you have import content, copy content, and finally export your course package. If you have any questions about it, you may um, contact your instructional designer and she'll be able to help you. Thank you.